I found there's no one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to investing or trading in stocks. Here's what I've gleaned from my own swings and roundabouts in the financial playground. My approach to investing. I'm a long-term investor at heart. For me, it's all about planting a tree and waiting for it to grow, rather than switching seeds every other day. Picking stocks with solid fundamentals, robust growth prospects, and perhaps a dividend or two is like choosing a good wine. It often gets better with age. I live over in Portland, Oregon, where there's a thriving community of tech and green energy companies. This local focus has given me unique insights into the companies I've chosen, ones that aren't just numbers on a screen. They're entities contributing to my community's growth and sustainability. Long versus short positions. So, do I prefer long or short positions? Definitely long. The patience factor plays a role, but it's also about risk management. While shorting can offer spectacular gains in a flash, it's a bit like betting against the house risky business. Long positions are like cheering for the home team. It's a positive bet on the success and growth of a company. The world of finance is indeed fickle. Remember when everyone was shorting Tesla, and then Elon Musk sent those same people to the cleaners? Sometimes, the turtle really does beat the hare. Day trading versus swing trading now. On to day trading versus swing trading. Day trading is like trying to catch fruit flies with chopsticks. Adept skills indeed, but a frustrating endeavor and not without collateral damage. High stress, potential for high losses, and frankly, it's a full-time job. Swing trading? It's a bit more my pace when I do trade. It allows me to ride the waves of the market, catching upward or downward trends and strives to capitalize on momentum. The waves here in Oregon might not be as legendary as those in California, but catching a good swing trade feels just right. Which one works better for me, and why for me, I found that a long-term buy-and-hold strategy lined with the occasional swing trade suits my lifestyle. I'm not glued to screens all day. I'd rather enjoy a hike in the Cascades or sip a brew from one of Portland's craft breweries. Why does this strategy work for me? Well, firstly, the tax benefits are clear. Long-term capital gains are taxed favorably compared to short-term. It's about being efficient with my hard-earned money. Secondly, I prefer the research side over rapid-fire trading. I take pleasure in learning about a company's vision, understanding their financials, and seeing how they fit into the broader economic landscape. Lastly, peace of mind. I've seen too many friends burnt by the day-trading sun. Just like in the wild Oregon woods, sometimes stillness and patience are your best survival tactics. Final thoughts. Investing and trading are as personal as your fingerprint. Some adore the fast-paced thrill of day trading, while others find solace in the gentle, unfurling journey of long-term investing. Me? I play a slower, more deliberate game. It might not be as exciting as the minute-by-minute -minute action, but it lets me sleep well at night, and that's worth its weight in gold, or in my case, a well-aged stock portfolio.